If you play Siamese Mahjong and you tend to play the same hands again and again, try something called Siamese Force. This is where you pick categories in advance before you see your tiles and force hands in those categories. This exercise is also really good practice for when you play in tournaments because a lot of times there are prizes for the first hand in every category on the card. I have here strips for every category. We'll pick six since we're, we're playing with two hands at one time and then we'll force hands. It's really great practice and it could help build your confidence and force you to play throughout the card. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Let's mix these up. 369. Odds. Like numbers. Year. Consecutive run. Quince. We'll just say we're the dealer. We'll get 28 random tiles. Okay. So for this, I think we could do a year hand for sure. So let's put the flower down here. There is a year hand with wins and we do have twos and eights and even some jokers. We could do 2018 with news. Now I would keep the other twos and eights but we need to think about this hand down here. We do have a pair of threes. Here's three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to think about what opportunities we have here. We do have a consecutive run. We have odds, three, five. I think maybe little odds. But I think I would probably keep all the odds just to see what comes in. So if we do that, year hand and odds, seven discards. Now we probably have more than that. We probably have more like, let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten, probably more like twelve, but I like giving myself flexibility with my choices here. So you don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. So I just will co collect. And then when I run out of discards, that's when I pick a hand. If I had to pick a hand, I think I would probably play, um, I wouldn't pick a hand. It's way too soon. You know what? I think we might have more consecutive run than three, six, I mean, uh, odds. Because look at all these. Three, four, five, six. Let's just put them in order here because we won't, we won't be able to keep them all. Okay, now three, four, five, six, three, four, three, four, five, three, four, five. Hmm. I think there's more flexibility with three, four, five, six, four numbers in a range built around the multiples of three and five. I think I would switch to consecutive run here. And then when 
we run out of the discards, start whittling this down. Like probably the sixes can go and stick with three, four, five. If you would do something different here, let me know. But I think I would play the year and consecutive run. We definitely have more discards than that. So I'd probably get rid of the sixes. And we could always switch to little odds. Okay, let's move on. Okay, I think definitely we can play a quint here. So it's just a matter of which quint. We have a pung of nines and a pung of fours. Let's see. A pung of nines and a pung of fours. I'm thinking Let's see, because we, we need to set ourselves up to play another category here. So if we did like numbers with nines or fours, or can something consecutive, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, six, yeah, we don't really have a consecutive run in here. So I'm thinking, let's see what this would look like if we did quint with nines and then like numbers with fours and dragons. Okay, that would leave eight discards. Oops, nine. Okay, um, now here though, we don't need all these. We would need that. Yeah, this is terrible. Okay, so nine, nine. We really don't need the seven either. Eight, nine, and then this would these would be for the nine bams maybe. Hopefully we would draw in the nine bams and then of course we need a seven crack. So yeah, this would be pretty rough. Let's see here. Let's see if there's another option. If we could use the dragons, that would be nice though. Um, and then let's see, eight, nine. I just wonder if we could if we would be better off trying for the three six nine with options and then whichever suit comes in we would leverage the joker bait so i think this might be a little bit better like numbers with fours and then three six nine in either suit. Now we won't be able to keep them both. I think that the discards was about the same, but I think this might be better to do 369 in the suits, which is the second hand down. Leverage these flowers here and then do fours with dragons under like numbers. I think this is what I would do. If you would do something different, let me know. Uh, let me just take another peek here. Five, seven, nine. Five, because we do have some big odds. Five, seven, nine dragon flowers. That would be one, three, five, but that would really deplete any opportunity for a quint. No, not really. Actually, 
I think this might be better. Okay, I'm going to backtrack. I'm thinking four east dragons hold the four for a potential switch and then play five, seven, nine odds. We could use these up here for the quint. Hold the four and see if maybe fours comes in, in which case I'd probably hold the two and this two for maybe the, consec the like number quint with a consecutive run. I think that's a better plan. So I think a quint with the east and fours and then down here five, seven, nine with white and the flowers. Maybe hold the six in case the three, six, nine comes in and even here. I think that's what I would try to do. That's a lot of options, but you want to give yourself flexibility. And I think this is what I would do if I were actually playing with these tiles. So a quint with fours, either with wins or the consecutive run. And then down here, five, seven, nine, or three, six, nine quint. Either way, we have odds and the quint. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write force two and what you would do. Okay, we have three, six, nine and like numbers. We do have three, six, nines. Let's just pull them together and see what we're left with to force something with like numbers. Not a lot here. I think we maybe could play something with the flowers to beef that up a little bit. And then like numbers, we can't use the the wins, so we'd have to get rid of those right away. We have eights, eights here. I think we'd have to use these up here because that's even weaker than this. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that is really horrible, but we have to force it. Let's see, fives, we have just a pair. There's joker bait. Here's joker bait right here and here. So if we split that out, that's looking a little bit better. So we have 12 discards. So like numbers with eights and then three, six, nine and joker bait, 12 discards. That's rough. But this is what it looks like when you're forcing a hand sometimes. If you would do something differently with these, let me know. Not a lot of choice when we're getting down to just a couple of categories to force. Oops, I had it backwards. Three, six, nine and like numbers. There's a link below the video to the strips that I use with all the categories on it. You're welcome to download that and use that and practice forcing hands. It's a great way to gain confidence playing hands throughout the card. And also, if you play in tournaments, it's a really great way to practice forcing a hand for those prizes. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, click subscribe and then click the bell. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next, Siamese Force, using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.